Hey guys, Technology Teacher here, and today I'm going to show you how to play around with Soundation. I'm going to show you the very basics so you can make something like this. So follow along. Okay, um, so in this video I'm going to show you everything you need to know to just start making music online with Soundation. The first thing we'll talk about are these audio channels over here. So these are your gray audio channels. If you have anything other than this, like for example, a yellow channel or a blue channel, I believe those are only for the paid for account. So just go ahead and backspace or delete those. You only want to keep these gray channels. That's the first thing. The next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start adding audio clips. So over here is your library. I'll just go ahead and these are your options. There's the paid sounds, but don't worry about those because we're just focusing on the free one today. Um, these are all your different choices. You can make urban, you can make electronica, and this number is the beats per minute. So that means like how fast the song goes. So for today's, we'll do 95 BPM because that's the one I was playing with earlier. And next I'm gonna show you how just to add clips so it's really easy you just drag and drop so let's say we'll do beat balance and let's say if you don't like it just delete it but go ahead and you double click on them to go ahead and hear what they sound like so i like this one so i'm going to go ahead and add this and then if i want to add multiple copies i can just right click copy go to the end and then you know paste so then I have, so there we go, I've added that. So then I'll just add some bass to it, go with it. Um, okay, so now I've added my clips. The next thing that I'm going to show you how to do is how to trim your clips. So let's say I have all this, this extra bass right here. I want to get rid of it. I'm going to go right to where I want to get rid of it. And then I'm going to go up here to the scissors button, click scissors, and then click on the clip that you want to trim. So I'm going to click on this one right here. And then I'm going to go to the mouse again. And then, oops, I guess I didn't trim it. So let me try it again. So scissors, and go right here, click. Yep, now you know that it's two clips. Mouse. And now I can either move this or I can just delete it. So there we go. So now I've shown you how to trim. The next thing I can show you how to do is how to fade in and fade out. Now you're going to do that with this automate feature right here on each channel. So let's just zoom in. You can zoom in and zoom out. You know, with, with just play with these different sliders and you'll see how everything works. You got a slider here. You got a slider on the other side. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit just so I can see a little better. Okay, so now that we're here, we have this automate button. Let's go ahead and click volume. And as you can see, we can start off the volume really low, and then it goes up, and it could increase. And then I could just click again, and then click again, and I would want it to fade out. And I'll show you what this sounds like. So let's have the bass be loud, but have that one fade in and out. See, I think that sounds much better with a little fade in and fade out. The next thing that you can do is you can add FX or effects to your things. And you can also play around with the solo and mute button. So let's say I have, oops, let's say I have an effect here and I want to make it Let's just, I don't know what they all do, um, but let's say, let's say web filter. What does it sound like now? So you can't really hear it anymore with the web filter on. So, so there we go. You can play around with the filter or the effects. The next thing that you can learn is the solo and mute. So let's say you just want to play audio channel two. You can solo it. all you're going to hear is that. Let's say you only want to mute it. 
now you're not going to hear it at all. So, I mean, those are two popular things. The next thing would be just the volume. So maybe you want to turn up the volume of one of them. This is your like volume button right here. And then lastly, now that you have everything else, you can just go ahead and save. So there's two ways you can save with Soundation. You can also ex export it as a WAV file, but you can go to Save As, and then just give it a name. This one I'm going to call Beat Bass, and save it. Um, and then you can also publish it, and publish it means that it, like, it, it publishes at the Foundation's website so everybody can listen to it. So I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below. Otherwise, I am signing out, and I will see you guys next time.